Oh, there you go, Jamie. Got you one? Got one. Might be some more in there. Second cast of the whole day. Tighten my fighting drag up just a little bit. <laughs> Might be a bass. Nope, That's big old blue. Good one. Nice, pretty bluegill. Look at there, the sun come out. Just when I caught that bluegill, too, come out a little bit. Jamie and I, fishing with my number one son, Jamie. Y'all might not recognize him from last year. He's grown 18 inches since last year, and he's bigger than I am now, particularly around the belly. Yeah. <laughs> fishing with my number one son, Jamie. And Jamie and I are fishing up in southwestern Illinois. And we come up here after some of these big, pretty bluegill. This is an area in Illinois that's just famous for big giant bluegill and that's not a tremendously big one there but that's a pretty good bluegill that's a start isn't it Jamie? Yeah. Big pretty fish you know nice pretty fish and those are good eating fish too. We're using we're using just a little old bitty small road runner. This is a 32nd ounce road runner which is very very tiny it's a marabou you can see how tiny it is say in comparison with I'll say my thumb. Look how small that road runner is. That's an extremely small road runner and one of the main things and able to catch these, these bluegill is to use something small because they've got a real small mouth. Now, a lot of times up in these areas, they'll come up in big giant schools and kind of flitter around on top of the water. And we're hoping that that kind of happens today. A lot of another thing that happens when that happens, Jamie, is when them big ones come up, yeah. a lot of time bass get down under them yeah. and feed on, feed on the bluegill and then they feed on stuff that the bluegill's feeding on that's crippled. A lot of locusts in this area and these bluegill feed on those locusts. If we see any of those big schools, we'll get us a crankbait and chunk down okay. underneath them. Whoop, had a hit. Ah, they're slamming into it and not getting it. They have such small mouths. Yeah. Open their mouth wide enough. Especially we got a tiny There's hook one. on. You got one in, didn't you? Yeah. There's several of them right there. I saw them flipping around the top. It's a pretty good one there, isn't it? Yeah. Well, aren't they something where they fight? You notice they get up and they run around. This, boy, that's a big one. That is a big old gill there. Yeah, Lance. Ooh, isn't they pretty? They are. Bright orange on them. Yeah. If the sun was out, they'd really be sparkling. Yeah. That's a huge gill right there, Jamie. Yeah. Well, their little teeth tear up. You see this right here? Runners. That's why they call them bluegill right there. Cause yeah. That's a... They've got an ear Pressure on them. Pliers. Right it's hard to get that bait out when you get them stuck good. They got a tough mouth. Most well, people don't realize that they're a lot tougher than the crappie, though. I'll tell you what, crappie that size would be pretty good crappie. Yep. That's a big old fish right there. What's the deal here? You push the button on my crankbait. What are you doing to me, anyway? I didn't push no button. Damn, it's only a 30-minute hmm. show. He's gonna spoil before you turn him loose, sir. There he goes. Boy, I tore up my road run. I have to get a new road run for the day's over. Just straighten the hook out on it. He whooped you, huh? Yeah. Tore you bait up and everything. Something hit at your line there? <laughs> one hit the line, then one hit my bait, and I got him. Golly. Man, that one's pulling like crazy. I bet that's a bass. That's a nope. no, big old bluegill. I mean, a big one, too. I thought that, that was, all right down there. I thought that was going to be a bass in the way he was pulling. I really did. There's one. You got one, too? Yeah, they're, they're just right down there. See them? Oh, yeah, I see them. Oh, I got some junk on my line. Moss, I don't know if it got down there on the bait or not. Well, the little one's pulled now. Well, that was a big one. I just caught Dog gone, I got moss on my line. There's some. Those, those oh, look a little bit bigger out there. Look at them out there. Big school out. Okay, can you reach them? Yeah. God, you see that bass hit in them? Tell you what, if I don't I catch one. one on this throw, I'm one. gonna. Well, you got I'll one take too. It. I saw a bass hit in them. Yeah, I was gonna throw a crankbait through them. These are little ones that there's 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 bass in there. I'm gonna throw a crankbait under. Yeah, I think I will too. Ah! I saw a bass boil up in them. They boogied. I'd boogie tough basses after me. There's some <laughs> right there in front of us. 
They're, they're all over this area around here. Bunches of them. Oop, there he is, Jamie. You got him on crankbait? Yeah, I got him on that double deep we are. What a good one, I don't know. Oh, nice fish. Good bass. Good bass. <laughs> Whoa, well, get out of my trolling mode. Whoa. Golly, he got trying to eat my roadrunner, too, wasn't he? Got my Wii on, he ain't trying to eat my roadrunner. Good fish. You know, get it? Watch him hooks. I just stick my finger in his mouth, I get hooked. <laughs> Teamwork! Ah, you well, I wish he would've bit my there. roadrunner. <laughs> you wish he'd bit your roadrunner? Yeah. What did you try to do, snag him when I was turning loose? That's a nice fish there. There he is. Got him? Hey, he was out there, wasn't he? That's like <laughs> a good one. It was a good one? It's coming this way. It was a pretty good one. It hit in those brim, I'll guarantee you that. Go, oh, oh. Push your fighting drag, push your fighting drag. Let's put that switch, you got it? Yeah. Boy, oh, I guarantee you, that's that big one that jumped in them brim. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> Get him up here and I'll get him, son. I'm gonna break your line. You only got 12 pound test line. Oh, he pulled off. Golly, <sighs> that was about an eight yeah. or nine pound fish. Holy cow. Man, oh man. Golly, what a fish. I can't believe he just went down there and pulled off, didn't he? Yep. Man. How you, how you feel? Stupid. <laughs> Wasn't your fault. No fighting drag slip, didn't it, when yeah. you pushed it? It was. I've been fishing with it like that. Oh, you've been fishing with it, Dan? Uh-huh. Golly. <sighs> Feel sorry for you, son. Ah, uh, no problem. That's fishing. That's fishing. Okay. Got one? I thought it got off. Oh, it's a big There's little one. I got one, too. You got one, too? You got a brim or a bass? I don't know. I got a big, giant brim on that crankbait. What you got? Golly, hey, you got a bass. <laughs> yeah. Have you got a bass? <laughs> well, folks, that's brim fishing in Illinois with a little bass fishing oh. throat in. <laughs> oh. Where is he, Jamie? That's a nice one, isn't it? Oh, that's a pretty fish. Beautiful fish. Get him up here. I'm trying. Beautiful fish. Oh, yeah. Good fish, son. We caught some big bass. Boy, that's a beauty, Jamie. Come here. And we caught some big bluegill. Most of the bluegill came on a roadrunner, a little small roadrunner, 32nd ounce. Got him. All the bass come on a... a Chartreuse and orange belly, deep we are. <laughs> that's the same color as the as the bluegill, so that's what we did. And we caught a bunch of them, and we had a heck of a day. And Jamie, you lost, I guess, the biggest bass you've ever caught in your life, or had on in your life. Yeah. But he got away. But we'll come back up here in Yankee Country and catch him again next year, and we'll get him in this time. All right? Yeah. Good day, son. What do you think? That was fun. Huh? It was. Fun.